everybody, welcome to the Trade Corner. Those joining us for the very first time, welcome to the Welcome. Everybody, welcome to the Corner. <laughs> this is weird uh, because I'm busy editing this vlog now. I don't really know what the title of it is going to be. I also don't know exactly how to create an intro for this. It's a very intimate type of video. Like, so please don't be surprised if you see my parents in my videos. It's literally part of the flow, you know. But I think people who have watched my life update where I've been, they'll have a better understanding of what this video is about. So if you have not been here before, please go watch that video before you get to this one. Because then you'll be like, oh, this video then makes sense. Um, but I really hope you enjoy it. Leave your comments. Have your tissues ready. If you're not ready, don't watch it. Disclaimer. It's gonna make you cry. <laughs> and it was a very hard video for me to edit and put together. But I really hope you enjoy it. So, let's get on to the video. I'm gonna be here and try and vlog the rest of the day. <laughs> My mother. Good evening everyone, today I'm gonna give a speech from my grandmother, Oma Amalia, you may have passed on but your memories would always live on within us. Thank you for your sacrifices, your care and everything that you have done for us. Wherever you are, I know you are in a much better place. We will be forever grateful and thankful that you are my grandmother. Our grandmother, we love you forever. Rest and rest in peace. Thank you. It's been hit the hardest. Praying was just hard. There was a point, point where I couldn't even, I could not even. I remember even telling friends of mine, I think you must just, this is the time when you, as a friend, need to stand up for me in prayer because I can't. Um, I can't, you know, at the time. I couldn't. I still find it hard to do, but I think it's better than before. With my dad, it was the one thing that I cling on to, clinged on. Like, I held on to it, like, don't let me go, Jesus, don't let me go. But with my mom, it's like, it's just been the hardest thing. It has been the hardest thing. For a good month or two, I couldn't even listen to any spiritual nothing. Gospel music was my place. My dad had passed. But with my mom, I couldn't even find solace in a song. I couldn't even. It's just there was no, there was no solace there. It's like literally there was nothing. There was no hope. There was no faith. At that moment in time, I'm alive, but I'm existing, not living.
en ons open die boek van vrede, van liefde. Laat ons ons harte ons sinne verenig en hier die dienst dan so open in die naam van God die Vader, God die Seen en God die Heilige Geest, die vrede van die Heere, sy en bly met ons allemaal. Amen. Amen. die Heere oor lewe en dood maak het om ons vader en ons moeder Tate Kalimba Jason en ons moeder Amalia Deshimana Appel wat uit hier die tydelike lewe weg te roep het ons hulle stoflikke oorspote in hier die godsader geleg in die naam go alle name Jesus Christus Jesus Christus sê ek is die opstanding en die lewe wie in my glo sal lewe al het hy ook gesterwe en elkeen wat lewe in my glo sal nooit tot sterwe tot in die eeuwigheid nie Amen Amen Sal my die ouwers in nieuwe klip opsit en ons moet dit inseen dit is die proces wat hier sal plas vind omdat dit al reeds opgemak was sal ons net die ontlapping na proces doen Afrikaans raak moeilijk Afrikaans is dit hier taal kijk julle as is nou maar nie op die dring is moeilijk Afomuti Silas Armas Lieve kinders van die Heere Ontvang dan nou die sieninge van die Heere Die Heere sal ons sien en vir ons behoed Die Heere sal sy aangezicht oor ons laat steyn En vir ons genadig wees Hier die Heere sal sy aangezicht aan ons verhef En daar sal die son van die lewe steyn Daar sal geen dood of droefheid en geween nie meer wees nie. Want die ouwe dinge het voorbij gegaan. En hy sal vir ons sy vrede schijn. Die vrede nie soos wat het die wereld geen nie. In die naam van die Vader, die Seen en die Heilige Gees. Amen. for me of 
Like we no longer have something to do there. Like it was almost like a passing again in the sense that at least with the first funeral because we couldn't do the tombstones at the time um, because of all COVID and all of that extra stuff. It was um, at least we could still talk about what are we doing for the parents, you know. We talked about it like that. What are we doing for the parents? Oh, we still need to do that. Hey, and for mama this, and for papa that. And oh, we must deal, you know. Now, it's like for some reason, it's almost like the final nail in the coffin. Looking at those tombstones. Being done. Because the next time you go there, it's not even like we have to go there. It's just you go there when you go visit the Wildfish Bay. Um, when you miss them, you go there. It's like the conversation of about them and for them is gone. And now we literally have to deal with the silence of them being gone because there's nothing more literally to discuss like we need to do. And that is hitting me also, I guess, in one of those stages of grief where like it's almost like acceptance now. Because it's done.